Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 33 of the Pokemon Cup Series. Today we're here at Dover International Speedway for the running of the AAA 400 Drive for Autism. This is round two of the playoffs here and now we're down to 12 drivers left in the field and we'll be eliminating four more to make it eight after three races. So everything is going to be important here today. On the pole we have the 32 of Roger Ray and John Mendez will share the front row alongside him. In row two is Colin Francis and Yin Canario. Chase Marks and Justin Roberts make up row three. Diego Yepes, Steve Morgan in row four. And James Richardson, Donovan Duthid make up row five. Plus Carter Fries and Zach Fitzwater make up row six, the last of the playoff drivers in the field. Pace car rolls down to the track. As we'll see if Yepes can go two in a row. Um, from his win last week at Gravis City and lock himself in the round of eight? Or will there be another playoff driver that locks his or her spot into the round of eight? Here we go, round two of the playoffs about to begin here at Dover under the lights. Green flags in the air. Only the second night race um, for the Cup Series ever at Dover. The other two races have been run under the daytime. So now the lights have gone down for these cup drivers to run in. Gonna be fun weekend here. Oh, whoa, what a, what a run there, but Colin has taken the lead. That was a really close, bizarre race there, racing back to Stripe. Here comes Morgan, here comes Duthit. Three point battle, might get too ugly. Oh, bumper to bumper again. Now they're wrecking in the back. Duthit gets on the bumper. Trying to get through the apron. The caution's already out. They already had a crash. Mendez, second place. France is going to pull away to lead to the yellow, but will they hang on? Are these drivers going to hang on? Oh, no, they're not going to hang on. Fitzwater flips. Oh, wow. Handful of playoff drivers involved. Wow. Wow. Talk about a, talk about a bit talk about a monster. Wow. Let's look at a this is a four wide battle here and this didn't go so well. This was what brought the caution out in the first place. Double zero spins, he gets hit. Everybody's hit. And a three-wide battle went horribly wrong as Zach Fitzwater got into Robert Smith and the car started to wreck each other out. So we didn't have any, uh, we barely had any wrecks in those other two races before. Now, with this being a different layout, there's going to be a lot more wrecking than there was in the races before. So expect to see a lot of wreck crashes here at the Monster Mile. Green flag is back. Five corners are out of the race and... Yeah, five cars now out of the race. Handful of playoff drivers were involved. Fitzwater was involved. And, uh, yeah, Fitzwater was the only playoff driver out of that race of the wreck. Oh, the wreck and again! Brandon Thorpe goes around along with Justin Roberts! And Robert Smith just spun! Oh, man! The wrecks continue here at Dover. And they don't call this a Monster Mall for nothing. Oh, man! Roger Ray gets into Tharp and Roberts got low and he gets hit, caught up with the mess. But how did Robert Smith spin? Let's look back, see how he spun. It looks like Steve Morgan made contact with the 48. Oh man, another crash here at Dover. Racing back to the line, Mendez trying to take the lead. Can he do it over Francis? And he... Let's see. Yes, he can. He just got it. Wow, he just got the lead away. But they're going to be pitting under caution. And it appears that John Mendez will retain his lead after, uh, out of the um, pit road. Going back to green now on lap 14. Still more racing left. No one, nobody, nobody was out of the race after that, so they're still going to continue.
Three wide battle again, gonna get too close. Brown a Brown a Stewart. Brown a Russell, I'm sorry, Brown a Russell. Three wide battle there and able to barely hang on. And now the caution comes once again. Francis and Russell battle for the lead. Did she get it here? No. Oh, McShane and Morgan make contact, but another caution comes out. Unsurprisingly, the wrecks continue as uh, Chase Marks gets goes on a barrel roll right here. He gets turned around by Grayson Acevedo. And there he goes. There goes the three car going on a barrel roll. Oh, man. Hard crash on the three. Oh boy, this has been a wreck fest, folks. This has been a mighty wreck fest here at Dover. And the wrecks all come here in the Cup Series, undoubtedly. More cars are out. 29 are left on the lead lap. Still over a little over, uh, just about halfway through the race. Here we go, green flag in the air. Colin Francis leads the pack. Third place goes to Mendez. He gets a good run and he's he's out and he's up and running. And here comes 32 Roger Ray gonna try to take that spot away. Oh, Steve Morgan is around. He gets hit by Rich Roy. And is there a caution? No. They they stay green. He's No, now they're not stay green. They stayed green when Morgan saved it, but these guys have wrecked again. Four Cars involved, racing back, and Francis in front. And the wrecks continue, and now Roberts is hit, and he spins around. He's hitting the wall, he goes around. The wrecks continue here at Dover, unsurprisingly, and um, this is what happened. Rod uh, looks like Roberts, looks like Patrick Smith got into somebody. Oh no! Yeah, it was slowed up in front of Morgan when Morgan hit, and then these guys started to wreck out. Four cars out of the race again. Oh, boy. Not surprising. Pit stops again, because they all have to get rid of that debris, and Johnny Garner will be your new leader. How about that? Johnny Garner leads, and the green flag waves. Oh, Wong is slow, really slow in front of the other pack. Gardner and pulls away. How will this affect the field? Are oh, they getting too close? Tharp got a little too close there. Side by side, and now they're crashing again. Vargas spins, and Angel Alvarez involved. More crashing. O'Neill Belvin spinning around as well. Freezing spins. Um. Tharp's around, and the caution's back out. Gardner's in front. And they avoided the 23 just barely. Man, oh man, that is just a huge crash. We'll see if they're going to stay green throughout. It looks like Gardner surrenders the lead to John Mendez, and now the faster cars are in front. Nine to go at Dover. Question is, how far will we go until we get another crash? 26? No, 22 cars left on the lead lap. Whoa. And we already got another crash. Well, that didn't take too long. Three white pedal. It looks like it's going to be Richardson in front. So no doubt, undoubtedly, I think we're going to have an overtime finish here at Dover, definitely, with all the wrecks we've seen. I don't even know where the wreck is, so we're just going to move on, and um, let's see the finish of this race. Four to go at Dover, and this might be the last run to the overtime finish. We're definitely going to see overtime, but let's see how the lead is going to be, how the field is going to be in front when we do have the overtime finish. But if we get clean and green to the four laps, I'd be surprised. 
So Richardson leading the field. Can he hold on for the win? Here we go. Green, green, green here at Dover. Three to go, and Alex Hawking's gonna take the lead from Richardson. And Mendez up to second place. Question is, will they survive? Two to go at Dover. Bumper to bumper, Mendez around, and they're gonna spin out. That was, I think, the longest green flag run they had today, and now they pile up. Wow. Everyone's coming back though with a two lap dash to the finish. Alex Hawking's gonna hold on and he's gonna lead with two to two, um, the white flag. There will be an overtime attempt though here at Dover. Oh, I hope he avoids it. Oh, I don't think McShane avoided it. Oh, now it's been mixed up. Okay, so now things have gone a little weird and looks like Atlin Downey is gonna be your leader. McShane didn't make it, she got hit. <laughs> McShane got hit. Oh no, wow, that is weird. But Alex Hawkins, we do know, is going to be in front when we have the two lap overtime attempt. This is going to be a great big game changer here at Dover, so it's going to be a very fun race to see who's going to survive in overtime. You don't want to miss it. And here we go, two lap overtime here at Dover. To kick off see the round round two of the playoffs. So this is it, folks. Will Alex Hawkins hold on for the win? He was eliminated from the playoffs in the last round, so he's trying to get redemption here with the second win of the season. Can he do it? Can he make it work? Or will Eli Bright pull off the upset? Or will any of the playoff drivers lock his or her spot in the next round? Two lap overtime. No caution's gonna stop us this time. Here we go. Back to the green flag with two to go at Dover. And what a start for the 13. He's away and running. I mean, he wasted no time on that accelerator and he's off and running. But can he hold on for the final lap? Here we go to the white flag with one lap to go. And look at this. Three white battle. Gets a little too close. And now they're crashing. Thorpe spins around on the final lap of the race. They'll race it back anyway in the final corner. But Alex Hawkins, he's going to pull the upset. He was eliminated in the last round, but he gets redemption here today. Dover winner is Alex Hawkins. Second win of the season in the Cup Series. Alex Hawkins gets his second win of the Cup Series this season at Dover. Redemption after being eliminated from the playoffs in the last round. But he finally gets the win again. So it came a little late, but he does get his second win of the season. And an impressive comeback for the 30 team. 13 team, I'm sorry, 13 team. 30th race, 13, te 13 team. So now Alex Hawkins wins and he beat out playoff drivers Don Duthit and Diego Yepes for the win. It, there was a wreck on the final lap of the race, but again, because of its overtime, there was no caution, so... But still, we got a great green flag finish here at Dover, even if it ended in a wreck like the other ones. But Alex Hawkins gets the win again, his second of the season. Pulls the upset win here in round of 12. Undoubtedly will change the playoff picture now. So Hawkins upset win, second of the season. And we'll see you guys next weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. All three series will be running in their their playoff races in the, in the Lone Star State. As round one continues for truck and X, and the cup will continue with round two. So hope you'll join us for another weekend of racing in the playoffs in the, at Texas, and we'll see you guys in the Lone Star State.